Hello Amazing Ospreys, today is Wednesday, February 6th, and it's early release. I'm Liliana. It's sunny and warming up. We reached the highest of 76 degrees in the afternoon. I am Avery. We want to say thank you to all of you that have collaborated with the cause of the National Junior Honor Society. The key collecting items to help people who have been affected for the government shutdown. You can bring diapers, formula, and cereal during lunch to the stage until February 8th. These families work for us. Now let's show them that current middle school cares. We'll be waiting for you. And now talking about Valentine's Day, remember that Mr. Gary and his flight team have something for you. Every day during lunch, you can buy that special thing for that person you care about. So don't miss the chance. Only one dollar for a sweet and a heart, for your sweetheart. That's very cool. And talking about love and friendship, are you getting ready for the Valentine's Day dance? Because PTSA is sponsoring a Valentine's Day dance on Thursday, February 14th. But remember, you may not have any referrals for this quarter to attend the dance. Well, let's change the subject. Do you remember that last year we talked about a science fair? In December, we had a video showing how teachers and students were getting ready for that event. Well, this year the event took place, and guess what? Our cameras were there. Alfonso Foster and Chris Friedner went to the science fair, and here's the video they prepared for us. What's up, Karina? I'm here, and it's part two of the science fair. So we already went to the science fair, and we got some more videos for you of the science fair. So let's get to it. What's up, Karina? I'm here live at the science fair. It's pretty crowded, so we gotta get like a little, a little close up, a little. I'm here with one of the students that we got that we managed to interview. What's your name? Liam Karlovich. Liam. All right, Liam. Let's see what you do. Your project was pretty interesting. What did you do? I did. I I tested the conductivity of three different objects. Conduct conductivity of three objects. What objects? A potato, a penny, and a quarter. Okay, a penny and a quarter is good. What made you think of a potato? I was thinking creatively. Creatively, all right. No, it sounds good. What were your results? Well, the potato, the potato and the quarter had different ones, but the quarter and the penny had the same. The quarter and the penny had the same, and the potato was different. Oh, uh, all right. Well, that's good. Let's get some shots of this project. Alright, well, yeah, that was one of the students' projects. Now, we have projects everywhere that we're going to show y'all. So, let's go. What's up, Karen? I'm here with some of the science fair projects that I guess won because they got like a yellow ribbon. So, is this one the effect of acid rain on food crops? They've got a yellow ribbon, so that means something like if they won or something, I guess. And let's go down here to this one. Um, this is, I don't know the name, but they got a yellow ribbon. Over here, they got a yellow ribbon. Velo velocity, viscosity. They got a yellow ribbon. So I guess that means they're, like, they're the winners or something. So all of them got yellow ribbons. So they must be advancing to like the nationals or whatever's next after this. What's up, Ospreys? What y'all think of the videos? Hope y'all liked them. Um, that's it for the science fair. Because like we've already been. So yeah, that's it for y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. Alfonso and Chris, great job in the science fair. Attention students, spring sports season is here. There will be a spring sports parent info meeting today in the gym at 6.30 p.m. 
Any student interested in participating in spring sports should attend this meeting with their parents. Spring sports include baseball, softball, track, and swimming. So see you tonight at 630 in the gym. Against Nosprey's, the boys soccer team fought hard to earn a tie against Fletcher. After going down 1-0, Emmanuel Brito scored the tie game early in the second half. Fletcher then took a 2-1 lead late in the second half, but our team did not give up. They finally tied the game 2-2 with one minute left in the game with another goal by Emmanuel Bruno. Next game will be tomorrow at Julia Landon. Good luck, guys. Boys and girls basketball teams will have action tomorrow. Both teams are working hard to get ready when they travel to Jeb Stewart. Good luck, Ospreys. Hey students, pay attention to this. Have you ever wanted to be a published author and illustrator? The Cosplay and Comic Book Club is accepting one page to comics to be included in our annual publication. Isn't it cool? Submission stories should be full full color in final drafts. We'll be picking out our favorite 10 to be printed in our book. All submissions are due this week from February 25th to March 1st. Turn in your work to Mr. Rollins, Building 8, Building 7, Room 710, 110. And get the chance to be a publisher author. Attention, Kern and Chorus Club is beginning our spring rehearsals. If you are interested in making beautiful music, please join us. We will meet on Mondays from 4.30 to 5.30 in the band room. Pick up an information flyer from Miss Shannon's room in Building 8, room 104. PE Production Club keeps meeting every Tuesday from 8.30 to 9.15 in Mr. Joel's room, Building 5, room 101B. Come and join us. And don't forget that current and middle school 2018-2019 yearbook is on sale. They cost, the cost is $25. You may purchase online using the school name. Stop by your house office if you need more information. And talking about online, don't forget that we are online. All our morning announcements and special videos are on YouTube. So don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find us on YouTube at KMS TV Production. Here's the channel. Like and subscribe. And that was all for today, guys. Try to be warm out there. And don't forget to be kind with every person in every classroom every day. See you, See you next, next time. time.